We are publishing today the report of the REACH and FORCE Project 6, which is a project that has been run on the classification and labeling of mixtures. This activity started in 2017. The inspections have been run in 2018, and we are talking about inspections in 29 member states. They have been checking around 1,600 companies, and in total around 3,400 mixtures has been checked according to that. And now we have the report ready, and the major finding is that in 44% of these mixtures, we found at least one inconsistency. We found further that 17% of the classifications of the mixtures were not correct. If they are not correctly classified, this means that the label is also not correct, and that in the majority of the cases, this means that the risk management measures that have to be in place to respect the safety of workers, consumers, and the environment are also not suitable to guarantee the safe use. We found out as well that 33% this means one on three safety data sheets is still not compliant. This shows the importance of the activity of the forum together with the accredited stakeholders organizations in order to improve the quality of safety data sheets. And it's also underlining the necessity of the REACH Review Action 3 which is also looking at how to improve the quality of safety data sheets. Next to the general activity on looking at the classification and labeling of the mixtures, there were four additional modules. We have been looking at the exemptions of classification and labeling, which are essentially related to the small packagings and also there we found out that more or less one on three was labeled in the wrong way. We have been looking also at the use of harmonized classification and labeling of the substances. There we found that 9% of these classifications was not correct. This is probably the most easy to be corrected, and in future we hope that we can come to a zero percent of failure into that. The third additional activity was looking at the liquid laundry detergent capsules, where the good news is that 91 percent of them was classified correctly, but we found in 22% of the cases problems with the outer packaging, which was not resistant after regular opening of this packaging, which is a requirement for having the safety. And the last mo additional module was on biocides. There we found that around 7% of the biocides were not having the necessary authorization to be on the EU market. We have made some recommendations, and you will not be surprised that the vast majority is going towards industry. Please do more efforts in order to classify mixtures correctly, to have the correct label, improve the quality of your safety data sheet in order to guarantee a better and correct communication in the safety data sheets in the entire supply chain. We found out as well that in many companies, the knowledge of CLP, REACH, and biocides is far from perfect. We can only recommend that industry 
is organizing appropriate training for the people that are working on this issue. For the Commission, we may require additional clarity on the exemptions of classification and labeling, which is now hampering an enforcement, a harmonized enforcement on this kind of exemptions. It may also be interesting to reflect on introducing a standard for the outer packaging and the closure of the outer packaging for this liquid laundry deter detergent capsules. And for the enforcement authorities and for the forum of enforcement, please continue to check in the field the classification and labeling of substances and mixtures and we will clearly reflect as forum of enforcement that at a certain moment in time we should redo this exercise to measure the progress that can be made in order to get a correct classification and labeling and correct communication in the supply chain.